Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jackie and I make videos on productivity, lifestyle, and tech career advice. In last week's video, I talked a little bit about how to develop a great tech resume. This week, I want to share how the hell you find projects to put on that resume. When I was a first year student, I had no idea how to find projects. I'm gonna share with you five different ways that you can get started with projects. Let's go ahead and get started. The first place to find projects is working with your campus services, seeing if there are any job postings to find work. One thing that's great is you get paid for the work you do. And the second thing is the projects practically come to you. During my first year, I looked through a bunch of job postings and was able to find a software development role on campus. I was so fortunate that this group worked on projects that would impact the whole student body. I sent my resume applied for the job and was lucky enough to get an interview and next thing you know I became a software developer at school. This for me personally was a really great way to dip my toes into software development. It was like one of my first exposures to agile development and overall it was a really fun and rewarding experience getting to work with other college students and my managers as well. So if your college offers a job posting board, definitely take a look at that. You're likely to also find other projects that professors might be needing. And those are great starting points for finding projects. Another really easy way to get started on projects is joining a hackathon. Hackathons last for typically 24 to 48 hours. By the end of the hackathon, you should have a deliverable that is, you should have a deliverable that is, yeah, you should have, you should have a deliverable that either solves the hackathon's prompt or is related to the theme somehow. I remember being so intimidated by hackathons. I always felt like I had no clue what I was doing on any of the projects, but it really is a great way to get started. The scale of your project doesn't necessarily have to be absolutely perfect. That's not the point of a hackathon. It's to showcase some sort of innovation. It's a great time for you to experiment with new tools that you're learning and also get familiar with technologies really quickly. And overall, it's a really great experience. I highly recommend you sign up with friends. Whether it's a virtual or in-person hackathon, you'll also probably get some awesome swag and prizes if you win. It's definitely a unique experience, but I highly recommend that you try it out. For this third project route, I want you to think about other interests that you have and other clubs that you're already involved in. Likely, those student groups have a website or might be even lacking a website. So consider applying or joining the group as a webmaster. You'll get a lot of creative freedom to do it. And because it's for a student group, you'll likely get to have a lot of fun with it and the pressure isn't too high. And unlike a hackathon, you'll have a lot more time to work on it. You can also continue to develop it and polish it throughout your time in college. It's a great way to mesh your interests while also having an awesome project to showcase at the end of it. For the fourth way on how you can find more projects, consider looking at volunteer and nonprofit opportunities. Many nonprofits and volunteering organizations need webmasters. So consider looking for some volunteering websites and you'll likely be able to help out these small organizations. And it's really amazing how much good you can do through coding. Many of these organizations don't have the funding to hire a full-time developer, so it's a great way for you to get involved and help out a good cause. Okay, and the last project is a very meta project. It's so simple, but not everyone does it. Consider creating a website for all the work you do. Getting to create your own website is super fun. You get to develop your own brand, and you also get to showcase the work that you do. And because it's your own website for yourself, you get to have a lot of fun mixing different fonts and different animation styles if you'd like. You can jazz it up however you want, and ultimately you can have a lot of fun with it. Of course, you just try to keep it professional, but that doesn't mean you can't be creative too. So those are just five ideas on ways you can get involved in projects. I hope these ideas and examples help to inspire you to find more projects on your own. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about projects. And always let me know if there are any other videos that you'd like me to cover next. If you like this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.